to the Security Risk Assessment, or SRA, tool designed to help your practice evaluate its risks and its adherence to the HIPAA security rule. Before you begin using the tool, you should know that the risk assessment process is often a collaborative effort involving several members of a practice. That is why we recommend you set aside a period of time to complete the assessment. The length of time will vary based on your practice's size and complexity. During the course of your assessment, you can enter and exit the tool as often as you need to without losing the information you have previously entered. The SRA Tool User Guide is also available to provide you with specific details on how to use the tool. Now, let's take a closer look at the basics of getting started. Once you install and launch the SRA Tool, you will notice four tabs on the right. Users, About Your Practice, Business Associates, and Asset Inventory. If this is the first time you have used the tool, navigate to the Users tab to begin. Type your first and last names and your initials in the associated fields. Once you have entered your information, select the Users tab again to bring up the Login button. To add multiple users, simply type in their information using the additional fields. Each time you access the tool, all usernames are pre-populated in the users list. Next, select the About Your Practice tab. You will only need to enter your practice's information once. Fill in the name, address, city, state or territory, zip code, and telephone number in the corresponding fields. After you complete the About Your Practice section, select the Business Associates tab. You will need to fill in the name, type, and address in the corresponding fields. There is no limit to the number of business associates you can add. New fields will be generated after you reselect the Business Associates header. For more information on who may be a business associate, please refer to the Office for Civil Rights website at www.hhs.gov forward slash OCR. Finally, select the Asset Inventory tab. Within this tab, you will see four fields labeled Name, Type, Has EPHI, and Assignee. These fields will allow you to input as much information as needed. Under Name, provide the name for the information asset, such as EHR or Practice Management System, for example. In the field labeled Type, describe the type of asset. For example, you can label it an application and explain how EPHI is transmitted or stored. A copy machine may also store EPHI and therefore may be an example of an asset. The next field label has EPHI, allows you to document if the asset receives, transmits, or stores EPHI. The last field, assignee, allows you to document who in your organization is responsible for this particular asset. Once you complete all tabs, your information will be saved in the tool and available every time you log in. To log in, Select the Users tab. Select the Login button located next to your user credentials. Now you are ready to begin navigating the tool. After you log in, the first screen you will see explains the administrative, physical, and technical safeguards under the HIPAA security rule. Once you have read the descriptions and disclaimer, select the Start Assessment button in the lower right corner. The first question appears within the gray box on the left side of the tool. The question cites the security rule and displays if the item is standard, required, or addressable. The yellow bar above the assessment question is labeled according to the type of security rule category the question covers. For example, A stands for administrative, T stands for technical, and PH for physical. While each question has a number, the questions are not in numerical order. Instead, similar questions are grouped together across the administrative, technical, and physical sections. 
Above the yellow bar is a progress bar to indicate how much of the assessment you have completed. On the right side of the question, there are three tabs that can help you understand and answer the question. Things to consider gives you factors to think about when evaluating your practice. Threats and Vulnerabilities offers information to help you understand what some of your risks are and their potential impact. Examples of safeguards provide some potential ways of reducing or eliminating risk or vulnerabilities. When you are ready to answer the assessment question, select either yes or no below the question. You can also select the flag option if you want to call attention to a question. Flagging can be done to remind you to review the question again later or to indicate to another person in your organization that you need them to review or answer the question. Once you answer the assessment question, space is provided for you to describe your current activities, what you are doing to meet the requirement, add any additional notes, or explain how you plan to address or remediate identified shortcomings. Select the appropriate tab for each category. The information you provide will appear in your risk assessment report. The radio buttons below the space allows you to judge the likelihood that a particular threat could affect your EPHI. You can also rate the impact or level of harm that could occur if the standard or requirement stated in the question is not met. You do not have to rate likelihood and impact, but doing so gives you a comprehensive and more specific report. At the bottom right are four buttons that can help you use the tool. Report lets you see the current status of your assessment results. The report can be exported as a PDF or Excel document, or it can be viewed in a colorful chart form. Reports can be accessed at any time, even before the assessment is complete. The glossary lets you search for definitions of words. You may have noticed throughout the tool that any underlined term is found within the glossary. Navigator allows you to see how many questions you have completed in each section. It also allows you to jump to a particular section at any time so you can answer the questions in the order you desire. The Related Info button calls up the Things to Consider, Threats and Vulnerabilities, and Examples of Safeguards tabs. Once you are ready to end your session or simply take a break, you can log out of the tool. To log out, select the logout link located at the upper right of the tool. When you log back in, your previous answers are saved. You can also use the navigator button to access the specific questions you want. Congratulations, you are now ready to begin using the tool. For more resources and information about security risk assessments, visit www.healthit.gov forward slash security risk assessment.